All right, I think we're up. Hey, good morning, Utah. Meteorologist Nate Larson here. Wanted to give a quick weather update for the weekend. I guess we have a new headset. I feel like I'm flying an airplane. We're going to take off. So, um, all right, real quick. Uh, here we go. The, uh, the forecast, unfortunately, not a whole lot of changes uh, into the weekend, which I know a lot of us are begging and hoping, wishing for something a little different. We do have some good news, though, expecting a little bit of better air quality in some of the northern valleys, thanks to kind of a, a northerly flow that's in place. Uh, some great photos sent in uh, this morning. Utah's Weather Authority Facebook group. I want to highlight a couple of those. Great sunrises from North Ogden. Mike Gibson sharing that one. We had uh, some from West Jordan. Jason Yeaman capturing this one over the Daybreak area. Chad Carr over West Jordan as well. Yeah, some of the color this morning was fantastic. Uh, temperatures as you're heading out, uh, again, pretty typical cold start to your morning. And then we'll see temperatures rebound nicely into the afternoon. Uh, still sitting at 26 in Harriman, Provo's 27. Colder air to the east of us. You can see areas of southwest Wyoming, 22 in Evanston, but we've got 20s and 30s across much of the state. So uh, mentioned a little bit of the northerly flow. Here's kind of the overall setup. So there is a storm moving through the northern Rockies, the northern plains, kind of sliding down south. Uh, and the coldest air is going to stay east of us, but we're seeing a little bit of high cloud cover. And heights are falling just a little uh, into today, tomorrow, that we're expecting some of the inversion, the temperature inversion to weaken some. And maybe we'll mix out a little bit of the bad air that's been in place. So air quality readings uh, from our TELUS AirView network show uh, we've got areas of green, yellow for Weber Davis County. Not the best reporting in Weber County, a little bit more sparse. A lot of it's up on the bench there, some in Cache Valley, but Salt Lake, Utah County still showing moderate, unhealthy for sensitive groups. Uh, this wind graphic gives us a better idea of the direction the air mass is coming from. These are surface winds, of course, but start to channel more of that northerly flow uh, for today. Uh, temperature wise, about where we've been the last few days, expecting low 40s. Uh, to upper 30s for many northern valleys. Wasatch Front should be about 41, 42 for Salt Lake. And the Valley Haze likely continuing down in St. George, looking at uh, temperatures up near 60 degrees. So 59 officially is what I forecasted for St. George today. The mountains, or sorry, these are the next few days. Ski forecast is coming up. Uh, so for your Martin Luther King uh, Jr. holiday, the weekend kind of wash, rinse, and repeat weather pattern, although hoping for a little bit of improvement with air quality. Uh, DEQ still showing uh, unhealthy for sensitive groups in Salt Lake County, at least today, tomorrow, and into Monday. Uh, ski forecast today, mostly clear skies. Highs just around freezing this afternoon after 20s as you're heading out uh, super early this morning. So what changes are brewing, if any? Uh, we have, let's see, uh, chance of moisture starting to pop up Friday, Saturday time frame, depending on the model you look at. Uh, this particular model that I'm going to walk you through shows more of an early Saturday time frame. Um, graphics are being a little slow to load, though. At least there's some change, though, on the horizon. We'll take anything we can get. Uh, moisture for Salt Lake, at least for the valleys, really pops up. It looks like more Friday night, Saturday. And the European model, which kind of follows that. So that northerly flow, trough of low pressure to the east of us, again, generating, again, hopefully a little bit of relief from some of the valley inversions up north. Another weak system passing Tuesday. Uh, we'll keep any moisture east of us, but could help weaken some of the inversions again. And then storm system uh, moving in late Friday, Saturday morning. Not a big snowmaker for the mountains, unfortunately. Just clipping northern portions of central Utah. Uh, and then we will look at, uh, yeah, hopefully a more active pattern into next week. So uh, highs today. Let me go back to uh, some of these. Alan says hello. Hi, Nate. Or, uh, hey, Alan. How's it going? I don't like these headphones on. I feel like I'm, I can't hear anything, even though there's not much to hear but my surroundings. Uh, hazy sunshine for the northern part of uh, the state. Uh, Brigham City, low 40s, along with Huntsville. Wendover, Park City, upper 30s. So a little cooler with that northerly flow. 34 in Alta today. 
Uh, again, get above the inversion. Should be a nice and mostly sunny day. Oh, South Bend. Okay. Very well. Good morning. Uh, Central Utah, 43. Bridgefield, so those mid to low 40s with light winds. Southern Utah also looking at uh, pretty comfortable temperatures. Jealous of folks outside of the northern valleys that don't have the inversion, but especially those that are in the 50s, <clears throat> near 60 for folks in St. George. Yeah, gorgeous weather. Great hiking weather, I guess. Explore some of the natural or the uh, national parks, state parks. Should be great uh, all weekend long down south. So hovering near 60 through MLK Day and then mid to upper 50s through next Friday with partly cloudy skies. Won't be a storm system for southern Utah by the weekend, unfortunately, but uh, the northern half of the state should benefit from a little bit. Uh, looking at mid 40s for this weekend and then upper 40s Wednesday, Thursday, mostly sunny hazy and that storm system for friday just throw in partly cloudy slight chance for now looking like with what we're seeing right now would be into early saturday before we see any uh kind of uh storm system really push in with moisture but hopefully clear out the inversion ahead of that so um all right that's that's pretty much it uh, pretty dismal as far as any numbers go snowpack wise we don't have any Still the worst uh, start to winter for the Salt Lake Valley, at least Salt Lake City in particular, with a tenth of an inch. Let's see, shots around the area. Yeah, Lake Powell, Cache Valley looks pretty great. So, all right, thanks for uh, tuning in. We'll be back at 5 uh, with your latest forecast and, of course, 9 o'clock after the big game today. So have a uh, great weekend. Thanks for tuning in.